Hey guys, old folks. So I'm going to do a legendary um, tier tank team um, kind of setup. There's obviously a lot of debates about which one's better, um, who's the best legendary to get. Um, obviously there's different costs involved that all play into that. Um, so let's just kind of jump into it. You've got your Monk Sun, you've got your Sizo. Malachi is kind of a whole different ballpark. Uh, I'll just be honest, until you get him level 90 and Gold Star, which is going to take a long time, uh, I don't really consider him in the game. Uh, then you've got a Charon, and you've got a Gerber and a Smoke. A Smoke's not really a tank. He's just listed as a tank. Um, but let's kind of talk about him. I think Monk Sun, um, Sizo, and Charon, obviously, your, your main three tanks. I think Charon got a phenomenal boost with his Awakening skill especially when paired with a, an Awakened Kaiser because when he's dodging now, he's doing an AE fan and um, it just gets crazy because he's dodging so much and he just dodge, dodge. And so he, he can do a lot more damage that way. Uh, backline Diver. I think Monk Sun's probably considered by many a better um, tank at the beginning because of his Disable uh, and a lot of times is built into the um, Edwin combo. He also can be gotten for the 90,000 gems once you purchase 90,000 gems, which seems crazy, but a lot of people are willing to go deep, and so they're willing to spend that, get him, and then use the gems on getting him actually built up and save, you know, 50 soul stones, 80 soul stones if they had not gotten that far. Sizo, with his awakening, becomes an even bigger tank for living longer. Um, works well, again, with um, healing teams. So he is, he is a great tank. Um, but he's costly. He's very costly. Monk Sun is far easier to level up than Sizo and cheaper. Um, but, you know, again, that's the nature of the game. Um, Pandarus, or Sharon again, you know, he um, he's kind of up there with uh, Monk Sun. But I think most would agree that um, Monk Sun's considered by many better. But now that he's got an awakening, I don't know. You know, it's, that's a tough call. But again, you're waiting to level 85, 86 before you can use that so i'm going to put monk sung before him size up before him Sharon, you know there as a damage dealer smokes phenomenal backline destroyer i mean especially you get him five star for most of the game you're going to just tear through other teams unless they find a way to um build around him and that requires them having a, a roster uh, with some depth to it gerber's a freebie gerber's a great tank for a freebie you know if you choose to not go with um, York, you know, which I went with York, you know, build Gerber. If you need an extra tank, build Gerber. I mean, he's a good tank for what he is. Um, you know, Spar, um, not, not my top pick, you know, he's, but he's not legendary. So uh, people always ask me about that. I come back to it. So I would go with probably one, two, um, three. And then obviously, um, this one doesn't count. You know, smoke's not really a tank. It's kind of my order that I, I would go with. Um, but again, Sizer is going to cost a lot more. So, you know, even though he's number two, I, I think he does phenomenal. If you got any questions or thoughts on this, you know, if you're going to if you're going to buy one legendary, buy Monk Sun. That's my opinion. Um, he's going to last a long, long, long time. He's easy to level up. Um, Charon again, you know, he's great, but you're waiting to level 85, and I don't want to buy something I have to wait till level 85 especially if I'm planning on getting him early game. So if you got any questions or comments, feel free to post them. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great one.